Ready. Action. We did have a, a put a lot of hope in the Obama administration that uh, you know things would improve. In fact, things have gotten worse, unfortunately. Under uh, under President Obama, we've uh, we've seen a lot of backsliding on the whaling issue and other environmental issues, which is really really quite surprising. The United States is very steadfast on its support for whales through the uh, Reagan, Bush, Clinton, and uh, in Bush era. I mean, for it's like 30 years. Uh, this is the first year that the U.S. government has actually betrayed the whales, and it was very, very interesting that it happened by a president who said before he was elected that that was one of his main concerns and that he was going to make sure that uh, the U.S. position was not weakened. And then suddenly it was weakened, and he has no explanation for that. Uh, the American public, I think, can certainly uh, put a lot of pressure on their elected representatives. Uh, to, and of course, there's an election coming up in November, and put up a lot of pressure on them to say, "Look, you know, we're, we're a whale protecting nation, and uh, we're we're concerned about what's happening in the oceans. And uh, if uh, you don't get back on to on track here, then we're not going to not going to support you." The first thing that Obama did was to sign resign the Patriot Act, which I think is an appalling act. Then he slid back on whaling, and he's saying effectively that America becomes a pro whaling nation in support of a return to commercial whaling under certain circumstances, which I think is absolutely outrageous. And now, with the Gulf, the worst ocean catastrophe in, in history, he is not doing enough. He's not standing up. He's not getting any of the assets in there to solve this problem. And it seems that Obama's put his faith in BP and, and, and believes that BP are going to right all the wrongs out there. Well, well, you know, British Petroleum was a major contributor to Obama's campaign, plus uh, the Pentagon last year spent one billion dollars of taxpayers' money buying petroleum from British, uh, from British Petroleum, so it's a major customer. We went to British Petroleum and said, look, can you give us the fuel to get over there? And they said, no, 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 we, we, don't, we don't need your help. We have this completely under control. We're not allowed to go in and rescue wildlife. We're not allowed to go in and clean up oil because they're calling the shots and the U.S. Coast Guard is doing whatever British Petroleum wants. It's illegal to approach within 65 feet of any oiled bird or animal or any oil or any oil boom. It's illegal. I had the opportunity to take a, a small aircraft about 120 miles offshore and we were flying in and around those areas for about six hours and in that time I saw four ships that were actually cleaning up the spill. That's over thousands of square miles of ocean. The Gulf oil spill is going to be more devastating to his political career than Katrina was to George Bush's career. And it just doesn't make any sense that he's not doing anything. It's like his hands are tied by some unseen force somewhere. It, it seems perhaps that Obama is just easily convinced of things and he's perhaps a little bit of a pushover. He seems that he was standing up for the right principles when he was being elected. But now it seems that his arms can get twisted and he, and he goes backwards on those promises. So Obama, I'm afraid, has been a, a, a total disaster for the U.S. public.